Hi, welcome to my channel, today we will be talking about how to reduce your render time in cycles, in just 2 minutes. After watching this tutorial, you sure will be able to reduce your render time drastically. But before we start the video, if you haven't subscribed my YouTube channel Rogue Knight 3 d then please like and subscribe, so you are always aware of my new upcoming videos. Well let's go to Blender, the first and the most important thing to reduce the render time is by reducing the light bounces. Default it is on 12, but trust me it's a lot. Reduce it down to 6, and also reduce the diffuse and glossy values to 3 as well. Then uncheck reflective and refractive caustics. Doing only this will improve your render time. The next thing we going to do is to turn on denoising. We don't have to change any denoise settings. Because its default settings work perfectly. If you have a good graphics card then switch to GPU. And in performance, change both tiles from 64 to 256. And if you're using CPU for the render then change these to 16. Next we are going to talk about the sample count. As you all know I have been working on my forest highway animation. But for an animation you have to know your scene perfectly, because you don't want to lose a lot of time just rendering. That's why I created some test render samples for you guys so you know the difference. You might be saying both of these renders look the same, yeah they do, but if you focus, then you will find some minor details, that are not prominent in the render with 200 samples. But you clearly see with 500 samples it took 38 minutes to render. But with 200 samples it took just 17 minutes. Let's see another example. This time I turned down the samples even more to 150. You can see a little bit difference between both the renders if you watch them closely. Our render with the 500 samples took about 39 minutes and 42 seconds while the other one took just 13 minutes. These are some quick tips about the settings and the sample count, now you be the judges and try for yourselves. I am not going too deep to keep the video short and that's all what you wanna know, and nearly everyone can use these quick fixes for their renders. Again if you like the video, then please like and subscribe my YouTube channel Rogue Knight 3 d and ring the bell icon as well. And you can totally share your feedback in the comment box. Well see you in my next video. Take care, happy blending.